So, since the uh, update is going to be breaking save files, so I have no use for the save files I have anymore, um, I will do something fun with my space station. I actually already did it with all the satellites and all the other stuff I had, and I did have a rover on the moon, but when I loaded it up, somehow it was inside the ground. Um, yeah, hopefully they have that taken care of soon, because that would be really frustrating if I was actually still trying to use that rover. So here's our unfinished space station, which is fairly functional. I had my whole refueling setup going here, where I was going to have this so I could dock to it and refuel a vessel for a, uh, different missions to maybe give myself that extra kick I need to get back from an interplanetary mission, but either way, none of this matters now because save files are going to be broken, so so we are going to deorbit this and, um I have to I don't know which way this is actually pointing so that's going to be an issue um let me just put it on this uh, prograde marker here, and maybe it'll give us something. It actually seems to be turning decently well, somewhat. So I got plenty of RCS because of this module I put on with RCS fuel. I'm gonna be able to refuel the RCS as well. All right. Now all this oscillation stuff should stop in the new update. I don't know when that's actually coming out, but yeah. Uh, and let me hit the N key. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm killing my speed. Let's just do this for a little while. Deorbit this baby. Now, this is actually surprisingly stable. I have to adjust, but I thought this thing was going to be going crazy when I tried to move it. Alright, let's see what my trajectory is looking like now. Where's our periaps? 56. We're getting somewhere. I think I can actually, um... Yeah, I never knew that until I watched a recent Scott Manley video. And I didn't realize you could kind of hold those there. Would have been good to know in the past. Alright. So let's stay on this map view and, um... A little more RCS, and let's drop that periaps a little more. It's already low enough that I can deorbit, but at this point, I'm just speeding up the process. And let's uh, open up my resources up here to uh, take a look at how much RCS fuel I have, which I have way more than enough. Let's try to get this down to like 40. The next time I put a space station up, I'm definitely going to go higher. Because docking with it's a pain when you're this low and you can't time accelerate enough. Alright, that should be good enough. Now, there's a couple things for me to point out here. Actually, first let's see, uh, turn the SAS on. And then kill the uh, RCS. Um, I did have these this little living quarters area built, but... I never put anybody in it, and I never put anybody in this can either. As you can see, that's empty. The other empty. The only thing is the lander can, which is part of the core, has Bill and Jeb. Um. So yeah, this is uh, my UKKR Skyport uh, space station, which is now never going to be completed, and we're deorbiting it. So um. You might be thinking, well, what about Bill and Jeb? What did they do to deserve to die? Well, it is the, uh, Soviet Kerbals, so... Uh, maybe they just don't care, but actually, if you look closely, this living quarters has parachutes on it. And this living quarters and, uh, Landican, which I just consider the, uh, Command Corps, have parachutes on it. So basically, all the areas where people could be living, if the space station were to go down, have a means of a safe return to the ground. You notice there's a, um, oh, the music stopped, we are entering into...
the upper atmosphere. But um, there's a little probe body here, so um, that can be controlled. That can still be controlled, so I can still deploy the chutes even if this were to come completely apart. Alright, so uh, we are now at the point of no return for sure. Let's take a look at what Jeb's seeing. He's looking at the ground. You can see the edge of the solar panels. You can actually see land a little bit, but I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video once it gets compressed for YouTube. Things might look a bit darker. Uh, periaps should be slowly dropping. Not just yet, but it will be soon, very soon. I don't want to physical t do a physical time warp in case something breaks apart that would not normally have broken apart. So uh, I'll just uh, edit over this bit until we get to sunrise. And what a beautiful sunrise it is. The last sunrise Jeb's going to see on this flight. The visuals really do look awesome in this game. And the game's not even finished. I mean, come on. I mean, this looks freaking awesome. Can't wait. The next space station I make is going to have that new module with the window. That'll be a real cool look. So here's our station. We have now entered into the uh, atmosphere officially. Frame rate's still low because of the physics of all these parts. Periaps is just above 10 kilometers in dropping. There we go, it's below 10. We will not be landing anywhere near the spaceport, that's for sure. And Periaps will be in the ground now. We should be seeing re-entry effects pretty soon. We do have a very shallow trajectory, so... It's taken us a while. All this wasted fuel, too. Full fuel tanks. And despite all that use, these RCS tanks still get quite a bit in them, too. Notice I loaded this thing up with batteries. There are batteries all over this thing. There we go, we're starting to get re-entry effects now. So we should be losing the uh, solar panels any minute now. Frame rate's getting way down. This is way too much stuff here. I imagine this thing would break apart soon. 
so things will get a little easier. There go most most of the panels. There we go. There's all the big ones, and the last little one just went. The only ones left is stuck to the side. Those should be coming off, but I don't think they're gonna. Although I, th oh, there goes a couple of them. I would think that this thing would be coming apart. At the very least, that big RCS thing that's sticking out on the and there in that side fuel tank would be ripped off by now. I mean, we're getting more and more slowed down. Yeah, we're uh, approaching 10 kilometers. This thing hasn't come apart. So I think we're going to be able to just, we're going to have to undock these so we can actually safely land. Undock that one. Hopefully that one doesn't destroy anything. And undock that. And... It'd probably be safer to undock these before we, uh... Do the shoots on them. Oh, I should have hit the shoots on this one first. There we go. That one is going a bit faster. Cheb is still happy though. He's confident that he is going to land. What just happened? Didn't I? Oh, I see. All our debris is exploding. Meanwhile, the rest of this thing is safe and sound. So if there had been any crew inside this can, they should be good too. As well as up there. In fact, if this thing was falling a little bit too fast, this bottom piece will take the brunt of it. And the living quarters will still be perfectly safe. But yeah, the, uh... Whoa! Stuff's exploding. Not the living space, though. And here comes the rest of the station. that the lights are still on it and everything and still on because we got a battery there which I think that's the only battery on this one and there we go all have survived and flight on that one the heck all right that loaded in weird but anyway and flight on that one as well and now uh, I wait to do anything big until um, the next update